Hello everybody, welcome back to another video game analysis. Uh, the second one, last one for this season, sorry about that, I'm sad about it too. But let, we're going to do something fun, because I actually wanted to um, in, in, analyze a society within a video game. And uh, games, uh, series like Bioshock, I've noticed, are one of the best ways I've seen societies be built. Uh, especially in a isolated area. See, Bioshock games are always in a very isolated area, where it's easy to detach people from the main world. And by using things like manipulation, um, taking away uh, necessities for survival, and making people fend off against each one another, it's something that just creates a desperate society, something that exists within the Bioshock series. And, well, let's talk about how that, how that formed, and why that formed, and where it's going. I mean, we have a hero to stop it, of course, because, you know, no injustice should go unpunished. Oh, and just to be clear, um, I'm mainly going to be talking about Bioshock 2 here, because that's really where most of my knowledge comes from. So, I'm just letting you know, and I also want to advise that uh, the cutscenes I've chose have, have some gruesome imagery, so if you're not into that sort of thing, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> just, uh, I guess, uh, viewers' discretion is advised. I don't know, you can just skip the parts of my face. Not that that's not great with parts, I'm sure you're right, look at the game audio, never mind, let's just move on. So, the main character I want to begin with is at the tip, tip top of this uh, society in which uh, Bioshock was created in. And, um, I, I am going to typically talk, like I said, I am going to typically talk about uh, Bioshock 2 here, because that's really where most of my knowledge comes from. But I think it, it, this overarching society in which uh, the game has portrayed is actually very realistic and very well done. It can re and in history, it's proven that this kind of stuff, uh, the structure of the society anyway, can happen through mass brainwashing or mass uh, uh, control. And Lamb here on the top of the food chain, she is the one, the head honcho, the leader of it all. And many people, mainly dictators in the past, have taken control by um, welcoming family. Think about it. Big Daddy, Big Sister, Little Sister. These are all names to in, in, uh, create family. And a family bond is what makes people trusting the most. And where, and where you com and when you blind people with trust, they, they would tend to lose sight on what is actually happening. In which people who would go to Lamb for, uh, for, uh, uh, for trusting her on getting a nice vacation or whatever, or going to a fancy underwater um, palace, would end up simply being controlled, taken away from everything, and some of them would be chosen to be people for her to use for her gain and her gain alone. Because the most evil people in the world meant well, like Lamb, but when that happens, uh disastrous results tend to happen. So yes, you know, sometimes evil can take over. You know, society is overall good. It And the only societies that ever maintain are societies built off of, of good will and hard work and everyone not being pinned against one another. Someone like Lamb has dangled something in people's faces uh, brought them to isolated areas, and then took the a human being's need to survival in order for her to establish power. And what equals power? Well, it's Lamb's actual form of power itself within it within a red serum. And with the red serum, you can get extraordinary power. As the big daddies who are people that she took um, uh, against their will to create. For protection have used for great power and with them are alongside our little sisters who are girls that were ripped from humanity and given the ability to find this serum which is scattered all across this isolated area now with that that is how lamb controls that is how she gets power and she created a hierarchy of power within the big daddies the little sisters and the big sisters with that you have a self-sustaining power and you have all these humans in which they were manipulated and ripped out of humanity that must give and 
let's say, like, this is, like I said, it's very realistic. Because, this, because like, if you replace red serum with money, in history, all well, this happens a lot. Uh, a One person would take advantage of the system and be smart enough to find a way to get to the top and to eliminate anyone against them. And, with, and find a way to sustain power. Of course, good always triumphs over evil. And, of course, good will always be there to stop them. But until then, it's a society that overall exists time from time to time. And Bioshock has was very well written in many ways, but in that regards, is my favorite. I love the society it's set up, and I love the ideas that came from it. So let's just continue to talk about it. When you have all of this stuff going on, what, what made the people... Un in control by Lamb, what makes the, the uh, society growing is what they're looking for. They need this goop. Uh, I'm sorry, the name escapes from me. Of it, I'm sure, someone in the comments will hopefully tell me. Um, they need that goop for survival. It strengthens them. This is what these rich people wanted, or whoever, you know, whatever. I'm not going to judge people who want this, wanted this stuff. It's trust. It's overly trusting. They had promises of this serum to make them strong, and it works. It gives them power un of unbelievable belief. And people are attracted by power. There it is right there, that goop. Uh, I keep forgetting the name, but overall, this is the fuel in which Lamb uses to create her society. She chooses select people to take away their humanity. Like, and they, they, that's what they do. They take away their humanity and make them look like a big family. It makes everything look okay when it's really not. While they're taking the serum for Lamb's use to control the people further, you will see these zombified-like people who the humanity was ripped out of them. Desperate for the need for this serum. They just have to have the power. They, they, it's, it's like they say, once you drink the Kool-Aid, there's nothing you can do. And... Well, that's it. So with all that set up by Lamb, basically, in general, uh, you have someone who would attain great power and wealth and riches. Someone, and with that, all that building up, you have a society of a pure dictatorship where they control human beings, which has happened. But, I mean, yeah, of course, the video game Bioshock is very exaggerated, but... I just love the realism. One thing I love about video games, and um, I'm also a fan of cartoons and comic books and all stuff like that, is I love the, the way they bend reality, but it just has a underlying truth, something that exposes reality and shows what life is within an inter. And what makes video games even more powerful than that is they're interactive and they're able to show you things that can happen. It sharpen your senses, people. If you see something like this in your society, I mean, it's not like that's ever gonna happen, really. I mean, it it depends. You know, I'm not gonna say nothing's po nothing's impossible. I'm not gonna say, uh, I'm not gonna say. I mean, you know what I mean. I I, I have no, I'm just saying if there, in in history this has happened, it can happen again. It's as long as you be careful, and you stay aware that. I shouldn't take so much with so with. I shouldn't take pro people's large promises and overly trust someone in a very naive sense. And that's what Lamb taken advantage of. She offered great power, and without questioning it or looking into it, people went for it. And ultimately, you know, Lamb's just trying for the best, but she doesn't realize she's doing it for herself. See. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, and that's pretty much um, what Bioshock is set up. It's very, it's a very well written game. But with that, we're out of time. Well, next time we'll are we gonna finish off the season? And uh, something I want to analyze is something not many people are aware of. I want to analyze the main line, the main stories of the Pokemon timeline. Because yes, there is a Pokemon timeline. And no, the games don't go in order from first to last. It 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 and it kind of not exactly. We'll, we'll explain as it goes. But um, until then, I can't wait for that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I've been Billy, your video analyzer, and I'll see you next time.